All right, everyone. We're on my third favorite island because Long Island is my favorite island. Manhattan Island is my second favorite Cut island. The Cut the <laughs> we are on Staten Island with one of Staten Island's favorite people, Max Rose. What's going on, everybody? He was a member of Congress, and now he's running for his to get his seat back. More importantly than that, we're headed to pick up my son Miles from uh, from daycare. Which, by the way, we do not call it daycare at home; we call it school. So he, uh, he's, we're, we're breaking him out of school a little early today to go get some pizza uh, at one of my favorite spots, Lee's. What you're gonna see, my son Chad, it's pizza, pizza, pizza. But I, I gotta tell you though, you know, my son was born on March 14th, and you know, all those parents out there, they understand this. You know, it's been scary raising a kid during the pandemic um, because, you know, he hasn't seen as many people, right? As I guess you know, kids were, if they had been raised during other periods, um, naturally because of everything that was going on. So you start to get scared at times. You're like, oh my God, does my, does my kid not know how to play with other kids or this or that? And you know, the thing is, young kids, you know, when they're zero, one, this or that, they are just learning how to associate with other kids. They're just learning how to play. They do this thing called co-playing. I'm learning all these these terms. I swear I'm not becoming one of those parents who reads parenting books all the time, but I have learned that term co-playing. So what do you miss most about being in Congress? Well, look, to be a member of Congress is an enormous privilege, and it, it, it's definitely not something to, um, take lightly you know you have an opportunity to truly impact people's lives in a really positive way hopefully be a uniter rather than a divider mm -hmm. and to stand up for what you think is right but you know I'm, I'm proud of what we did when I was a member I'm proud of the ways in which we made really hard decisions mm -hmm. I think that's that's what you need in Congress right that's what you need amongst any elected official is someone who's not just trying to keep their job. takes a long time to decompress. It takes a long time. I'm probably still trying to adjust and consider that. Um, Pizza! You know, like the, the, the notion of trying to remember that it's not a matter of life and death. Um, it's hard when for a little while it is a matter of life and death. So then everything becomes really, really serious. Uh, and that's, uh, I think a lot of folks, um, who have come back from combat have to think about those things and deal with those things. I certainly have. You seem know, I, very calm. What do you do to calm down? Um, how do you meditate? Like, well, how I do, do you? A lot of yoga. Yeah. Um, you know, not as much as I'd like to, but I try to. Um, I, I'll have a scotch. I, I tend to do that too. I hang out with this guy. You know, uh, make sure I spend time with my wife and. Yeah, and just try to keep things into in perspective. You know, that's what we all struggle with, particularly with the pandemic and with how crazy this world is right now. It's, it's difficult to, for all of us collectively to say, slow, slow things down, take a deep breath. Just remind yourself that you're blessed. Mm -hmm. Please, how about this? I'll give it to you in the car. Okay? You are the first person in your family to have served in the military. What made you make that decision? Well, no, no, you know, I say since World War II, you know, my grandfather, both my grandfathers took part in World War II. Um, but since then, definitely I'm the, uh, I'm the first. Mm -hmm. um, look, I believe in public service and that was the type of public service that I chose. I still, uh, I'm still in the guard. Um, I really enjoy the military. The camaraderie, I enjoy the opportunity to to serve, and, but I'm really grateful for the experience. It made me a better person. Mm -hmm. You know, made me 
much better person. Yeah, outcast. Yep. Ask me my favorite hobby, it's this, riding in cars with elected officials and candidates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for adding that. Thanks for adding the one at the end. Yeah, candidates, that's you. <laughs> These are candidates, man. Current and former elected officials. How's that?